It was a moment many believe saved lives. On a night nearly four years ago, Cody Lejibokov was pulled over on Highway 27 after driving out from a side logging road. When they retraced his path, an officer made a grisly discovery. Yesterday evening, Lejibokov was convicted of murder in the first degree for the deaths of four local women. The man who once walked the streets in Prince George is now Canada's youngest serial killer. Guilty. Cody Lejibokov convicted on all four counts of first degree murder. But for the family of one of his victims, Natasha Montgomery, the verdict isn't enough. Natasha's body was never recovered. And I want to remind the public to please keep an eye out for her remains. Uh, we will have satisfaction when he lets us know where Natasha is and gives it back to Luann. She needs her daughter back. And I wish there was the death penalty because I'd love to see him go through it. Slowly, very slowly. An eye for an eye. <laughs> and I, 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 all the time I was in that courtroom, I just wanted to grab him. Not easy to sit and listen to his granddaughter's killer and his make-believe about accomplices, Mr. X, Y, and Z. When the verdict was read, Lejibokov was totally still, no reaction at all. But the community is remembering the victims. Cynthia Mays, Natasha Montgomery, Jill Stachenko, and Lauren Leslie. The disappearance and murders of these four women were not only difficult for the families, but the greater community and support service groups here in Northern BC. They were loved. They're missed. There is a child without a mother. We have suffered so much in the last four years, I cannot begin to even verbalize adequately from my heart. And we miss them. And how they went was horrendous. For many of the victims' family members who've been in court every day of this trial, this is the result they've been waiting for. The mandatory sentence which the court must impose in these circumstances is life in prison with no possibility of parole for 25 years. From the killer's arrest in 2010 to the verdict, victims' families have made it through with the support of friends, Carrier Sakani Family Services and RCMP. You have no idea what it means to us. If it wasn't for the people being behind us, we'd be in there all alone. Just a handful of us. Natasha Montgomery's grandparents remember their girl as a talented figure skater with a beautiful singing voice. Because today is about the memory of four women and walking evil being locked away. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.